places they normally go, right? You know? You know, the smart decision. But it's a local I'm here right. to burst they, your yeah. bubble. It's a local. There's nothing. There's not. The stakes are comparatively low. Exactly. Naturally. So, like, you, you want to learn how to play the Terry Ryu matchup. Exactly. Not the Kazuya Sonic matchup or that however it goes. Okay. The thing about Nemi. It's the Shaku Nexus which should really stand out. Like, yeah. How does Darkstalker find his way in through them? Because they, they're a really, really strong zoning tool. And exactly. it's a really strong pressure tool. Because if, you, if, you're, if you're caught shielding, it allows Nemi to set up his own pressure. So yes. get starts, starts to kick your shield, starts to make you hate the game. Mm -hmm. see, what, is Dark, what is Darkstalker going to do? Sorry. Exactly. No, and as we can see, he's doing something positioning-wise. It's very similar to what I like to do, which is just being beneath platforms. Because when Terry has a very strong approach tool with like that landing there, being underneath a platform could deter him from like immediately jumping on and getting on you. So look at Nemi's placing. He's jumping in, jumping about, up, and just like staying beneath those platforms very wisely. Yeah, because that will deter, for example, a power dunk approach, a crack shoot. Yes. A jump in there just can't work because you just land on the platform. And it's allowed Nemi to sort of steamroll, get Darkstalker steaming. But yes. when that happens, he gets some t new tools to play with. Exactly. And he's gonna play with the man. What is he? Can Nemi take the stock? Or is Darkstalker just gonna explode and well, take the first stock of this set? I think the, we've got the answer <laughs> to that one. Yeah. But the, Nemi played so well for the first minute, but then he just couldn't finish his meal and then he lost the stop for it. It was yes. a fire back though. Exactly. The way I see it, Goterry is an entirely different matchup. Like literally, the character's moveset just changes and the things you need to be aware of completely flip. All of a sudden, you can't be in the air, whereas before the air was naturally somewhat safe, or at least you could somewhat box with him. But now that power guys is just too big of a risk. And so Nemi, a person who likes to jump and like be surprisingly aerial, even with these Shotos, is getting like really, really crept and like attacked. Mm. And he's sort of got caught slip, asleep at the wheel with Darkstalker just doing his traditional, I'm gonna a full heart power dunk, do the tiger knee, and exactly. then make you make you explode. <laughs> like, Pop you into of, the yeah. corner. Mm. And what started off as a really sort of convincing lead for ne Nemesis has really. I don't know, it's become a lot more stressful, but yes. he's, he's close. He can definitely take a stock soon enough, but he's got to do it quick, you know. this is There's something really scary coming. Exactly. And here it is. Here it is, Buster the sinister Wolf. Go Terry, a completely different beast. You can see the, sort of the fear just sort of setting into Nemesis, man. He's usually the one to be in control, make you scared. But he has to sort of hold his own, find a way to take the stock, but Darkstalk is just not giving him anything. Even though he got the down tilt, didn't it couldn't hit, confirm, couldn't get the tattoo. Yes. And does get just it about time. barely. So, how do you think Nemi can take this back focus? I think he's just got resort to, resort to his traditional game plan, but the fireball on the, the, on the platform. Yes. Just that get rack up damage. It's going to set up those situations. Here we go. Fireball on the platform, setting up into 23. He's, just try he's doing his best to get out of those scary situations where Darkstalker's yep. pressing a button uh, like up in his face. It's weird. He, he, Niri is the one that doesn't want to scrap here. He wants to be in control, want to stay far away because Darkstalker is just really trying to break that wall down. It's really scary for Nemesis. Rolling in, get getting the jab and not getting the hit confirmed. This yep. time Nemi jumping in, getting the up tilt and getting nothing. The shield is looking very low though. Gets Ooh, the, the show you. This is very even. And he's gonna get the stock here, the Tatsu after the down tilt, but it's not, not it. enough! I don't think you realize how heavy Terry is. I, I thought any other character, man. A launch. Oh. This is so scary, both looking for a way to get a down tilt. And this time it's Nemi knocking at the door, tip tap of the toes, taking game one. Taking game one. Give it your all. Incredible stuff down there, converting that down tilt so quickly into that Shoryu. You can tell Darkstalker is a bit stressed here. Shaking yep. his head, knowing he had that. Exactly. He just let it slip. He let Nemesis come back and get up close and personal and get the down tilt. Being the one attacking on his terms, because both characters don't really have the best out of shield, Terry exactly. especially. Yep. So if you're the one in control, if you can make your opponent shield, like how Arch Nemesis is doing with those Shakunetsus, yes. it sets up in situations where you can take a stop. No, I was definitely well. agreeing with you that Nemi was playing the role of the aggressor and Darkstalker was meaning to react. He was reacting incredibly, but eventually you're going to make one mistake. It, in my eyes, it just comes down to how Darkstalker can play around the Shakunetsus. What can he do? A lot of characters can sort of like use a hitbox to beat out completely. 
So maybe we see Darkstalker come in with, with an aggressive Nair. I don't know if that's the way he approached it. I think Darkstalker kind of struggles in this specific matchup. I think but he's found a lead at the moment. I understand exactly what you're meaning. And I think what's toughest is when Darkstalker, as we see here, is getting juggled. Terry's escape options, he has that RP, which is really good for him. But naturally, he doesn't have amazing drifts. So when he's getting stuck in the air, Nemi really gets to have, like, have his way with him. Mm. That is it. A nice dash attack. This is, that, it's crazy. That, that normally, this is like kill percent for both. But they're both kind of heavy. So like they're still trying to look for like a solid hit and then the stock. Exactly. Nemi with a really risky air dodge through, but actually smart given the console, well, circumstances more so. Oh, you've given him that one free, but you don't die. Yes. We should have. You are ridiculously heavy. Now, as the viewers are watching, Ooh, a brave up B there. They, they've been mixing up how they're applying their down tilt pressure. They're both sticking out the, the, the leg. Yes. Um, and what I want to see a bit more of Nem from like Nemi's side is he had that really strong game plan in the beginning that really, I think, has been shaken up slightly. So I don't know if he'll return to that state, but he needs to make some sort of shift. The magnet hands. I think what might be in... Ooh. <laughs> Kick back to the yeah. face. Yeah. I, lo I love I love it when a when a Shoto does the back end because you know it's intention and they have to do do the raw. That is not a normal input, yeah. absolutely. I think it comes down to how they're playing up close and personal with the, these down tilts on each other's shields. If they whoever's ahead of the curve on that yes. will benefit a lot. And you'll notice that Darkstalk is going for a lot of that Nair because it will confirm into a spike if he gets that at ledge. Mm. So Nemi has to be very, very careful and aware of that. And he always threatens the special cancel as well, right? If it hit shield. You're spot on, yeah. This one's very scary. It's very scary for a Nemesis. A down tilt from Darkstalk, if he gets the right hit, will lead into a stop. But Nemesis defense has been... It was all right to an extent. <laughs> and then he tried to land on top of Darkstalker, who has that... Uh, yeah. Intangible anti air up smash gonna take that stock and put him in a really strong position. But, wait, hang on, how much damage are you taking here, Nemi? You wanna find your way back in. Does it with the, the sort of belligerent there from ledge? Yes. Seeing like Nemi sort of doing down tilts and dashing back, thinking that Darkstalk is gonna roll. He low profiled the, the side B with, the, with a crouch, finds a down tilt, surely, but not enough. It's still not what enough. We'll do it though. And now the beast is out. Another the beast is slain. Yeah. Yeah, it's a scary situation that 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 go Terry right, and if you get it like with that back air, that that's gonna make things very strong for you, giving exactly. you a fighting chance in this game. A nice crouch there from Darkstalker doesn't go unnoticed, just to dodge that little bit of extra damage. As a wee fit main, I approve. This is oh, a nasty take right situation, here. and you do die here. Ah. Yes. <laughs> oh. Game three, here, here we, go. we go. This is all to play for. We know this plays you, Manny. How are you feeling? Uh, How are spooky, spooky. <laughs> yeah. As you can see, these two players are ridiculous when it comes to execution. Yeah, they've they just got to be confident, right? They need to stay calm under the pressure. Both are very yeah. scary characters. So it comes down to like how. What can I do? How can I be in control? How can I make them more scared of me than I am of them? Exactly. I really do think it's a bit of a game of cat and mouse. They have equivalent sort of power in projectiles. Maybe Nemesis is like a bit better. But in terms of actual approach, they have to be really, really careful. Otherwise, they're taking a lot of damage. For real. But then and again, Darkstalk could be the aggressor. Yeah, exactly. It's surprising that Darkstalk will just commit so hard to a dash tag like that. Really banking on the overshoot. Maybe he's give, showing his hand too early, but he finds a lot of damage to start off this game free. The, the back tilt into the crack shoot. Funny, didn't read, not a crash. Uh, funny back tilt. Board. Very funny. Down tilt. Nice catching Taxi. there. Big damage. Darkstalk was doing the create DI of like up and away, but it still just catches sometimes. Yeah, like they, they are, their defense is quite strong, but sometimes you overextend an advantage and take a lot of damage. Again, overextending with the, the power geyser. This is scary, they're both just mashing their specials and the down tilts. But the, this one, this Dragon Punch, is more intangible than your move, man. It's built entirely different. Like, mm -hmm. it's literally designed different. Exactly. It's, it, that's, my DP win, wins, right? You can't throw out your crowd shoot. And this is Arch Nemesis' game to win. What can you do with a lead? 
Here's the brick wall. How can Darkstalker force his way through? And then we will survive that. And I need some, some patience from Ledge with him. Darkstalker really with an amazing though. aggressive option. Getting spotted away though. Mm. And then we're willing to give up space just so he can throw out those fireballs. Just slowing the pace down. It's, it's the and easiest way to avoid dying. Once again. And it, it, it makes Darkstalker slow down and allows him to jump in. It's the sort of classic Nemi thing. Very strong game plan. I think Darkstalks is sort of cracking at the moment. Exactly. But he's cracked. I found a crack in the wall, a chink in the armor. I was going to say, I'm absolutely loving the way that Darkstalk will retake center stage. He'll do a bold crack shoot, or he'll just fall down with an aerial with the knowledge that if he hits it, he can convert into it. So really, it's like good stuff to see. All of a sudden, it's even, and then some. The lovely, meaty hit of the power wave. So much damage, damage coming out from Darkstalker. Can he take the stock? Can he take it just a little bit further? Take this lead in this game free set. The rare bear from Nemi. Doesn't do those often. Ooh, I'm really surprised to be able to roll through, beat the old auto turnaround. Oh, the over Very patient. Oh my god, this is so, so tense. That's that go, Holding Terry. Us That's got to be death. Yes. Here we go. Last stock from Darkstalker. He's going to pull off. Have to pull off a miracle to take the set. That punish is not easy there. Mm. That, even on parry, like you can't really get something guaranteed. Here and they're not the getting rolls. enough from the down tilts. I think they're, they're just preemptively like DIing out. It's really saving. And for the first Nemi. time, I think we're seeing Nemi's return to his game plan. He realizes that now that he's in the lead, he can take things really slow if he likes. Dark Stalk is the one who has to overextend or extend just right in order to get that kill, and let me notice that. And we're seeing answers, we're seeing roll throughs, we're seeing crack shoots over the fireballs, and it's it's working, but it's just not enough. And now Nemesis is really holding his own, pushing his advantage. He's coming close. This is a max rage Ryu. This is very scary for Dark Stalk. He can't really afford to mess up one more time. Fighting so really valiantly here. Nemi not hit confirming correctly. This is really scary. Got to have fireball down tilt here kills. Darkstalker have to play as if his life depends on it. He has to play. be so careful. But belligerent roll through jab is going to be what breaks that wall. Gets Very him back well in. Done. Go right. is online, Nam Manny. It's beast time. Oh, crack shoot. Crack shoot. Power dunk. The spell shield's coming out. 1000 APM Darkstalk coming out, but the, the <laughs> wall of fireballs is just always there. The Nair just getting hit, the up air. Nemi really looking to close this out. Surely a down tilt here, but Darkstalk got a down tilt, gets a grab, gets First a lot of damage. Wow, this is, this is very important. well done there. Darkstalk oh, is hold catching on. on to those reverses. This one will kill. He's going full he Darkstalker mode. The burn knock not hitting the down tilt. Of jumping Old out of the pressure. King the, oh my god, that should be it. No, that's it. That's it. And he went for the classic, the Dark Stalker classic, the power geyser into the Buster Wolf. Nemi not stuff. falling for it. Dark Stalker better all, but it was not enough. Nemi moves on into losers' finals to fight with the one and only Manny. It How me. Right, it so time? I'm not going to lie, I shouldn't have done comms now because I'm 10 times more scared. Um, you got, you, I'm you got the data, data, man. You got the data. Exactly. You know what? You're right. You know what? You're absolutely right. Thanks for that one. I'll keep that in mind. Uh, focus, send your prayers, viewers. It's not going to be nice for me. I have a feeling. But pray, I'm going to do my best. Pray for money, folks. <laughs> you guys take care. Did Nemi go? Why isn't he still there? Man, he's just setting up, going to face Nemi. Lose his finals, Monday meltdown. I am running out of things to say. Oh, there's, there, there's Nemi. Here we go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.